Well, boys and girls, this is it. This is the last video of Pokemon Month, and if all goes according to plan, all this, all these videos should be uploaded to YouTube before January is over. So I did it. I did all these videos in a month, and it'll be over 30. So it's kind of been. I mean. It hasn't been a ton of work since I haven't edited anything or anything like that, but it's been some work, you know, on top of a full-time job and some semblance of a tiny, tiny social life, you know. But it's been fun. I, uh, I guess for this last video I'll talk about where Pokemon is going and what I would like to see out of it in the future. Pokemon Platinum is out in Japan. It's the third game for the fourth generation. It'll be here fairly soon, I don't remember when exactly. Like all the third games of the generation, it has some animations, um, I think some um, enhanced battle areas. They also, this one also has a, a new area to explore, though I don't know how much Pokemon stuff's involved with it. it has an increased focus on Giratina, which is a ghost dragon introduced in Diamond and Pearl. I have one, it's kinda crazy. It also introduces new Pokemon forms. Not unlike how Deoxys had, exists in different forms with different stats, now they're doing that with other Pokemon, including Giratina, Shaman, and Rotom for some reason. So Rotom's going to be really weird this time. They also made a new... In the fourth generation, they made a new Pokemon Ranger game, Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia, which I'm sure is done well. In fact, that's... I believe that's the way you get us. Shadows of Omni, or I don't know. What other Pokemon Ranger games you get Manaphy from, or Fion, or blah. They've also made a new uh, Pokemon Dungeon game based off the new Pokemon in Diamond and Pearl. I believe Explorers of Time and Darkness, or something like that. They're also making a new one for Platinum. So that series is obviously doing well if it's now on its third iteration. Now, what I want to see out of Pokemon at a certain point, you know, beyond beyond the normal good quality games that they produce in the main core series, what I want to see are some good stuff for the console. We always have the stadiums, and that's fine. But you know, at some point, I want a true Pokemon RPG on the console with great 3D graphics. I mean, it'll be it'd be nice. Pokemon as a series is one of those that's just it's never really relied on graphics or anything like that, any of that sort of technology. It would be nice if they took advantage of the Wii in order to, you know, make that sort of real RPG experience on a console. But take advantage of that power. The DS is pretty nice for a handheld, but, you know, just want to see it, you know? I always... and. Another thing, I, another idea I've always had, which is what I think would be really cool, is to not to have a console game, have the RPG elements in there, but not have the fight based entirely on those RPG elements. Like, it almost RPG elements, like where the stats and the levels are still important, but also part of part of what's important is your is your fighting ability. Have it be like Super Smash Bros, where you're jumping around, you're running around, you're using your special moves, and, you know, like a level 1 Pikachu is obviously not going to be able to defeat a level 50 Gyarados unless you're really, really good at the game, but I still think it'd be cool to have that little, that, little, that, uh, that hybridization of a fighting and an RPG game, and they kind of do it in the Super Smash Bros. Uh, story mode, really, when you're fighting... When you're, you know, the further you get in the game, more stickers you get, the more powerful you get with certain moves. And I think you could apply that to Pokemon somehow. Or, I mean, if you don't want to do that, I bet Nintendo could make a Super Smash Brothers style game out of simply Pokemon. I mean, in this game, in this one, they've got Pikachu, they've got the Pokemon Trainer, which has three different Pokemon there anyway. Lucario, Jigglypuff, and then the two, the two characters, uh, Pichu and Mewtwo, that are no longer in the game. I think you could have 20 or 30 Pokemon in a Super Smash Bros. style game and you would sell maybe as much as Super Smash Bros. 
Maybe, you know, maybe a million less. I don't know. But it would print money. I guarantee that. That would be cool. So those are ideas I have for Pokemon. Who knows what they're going to do. They'll probably do what they do, which is a, you know, a slow but steady, steady improvement of the game with a new generation, some new Pokemon. Probably keep going with the new side games they've made. Maybe introduce a few more. Hopefully it's more uh, Pokemon Snap, not Pokemon Dash. Pokemon Snap, I mean, that deserves a sequel, you know? I'm sure if it was a popular download for the Wii Virtual Console, it probably will get a sequel, so... I guess that's the future Pokemon, we'll see. It's still going strong, obviously, even after 11 years now. That's just crazy. You got the United States in 1998, it's 2009 already. I mean... <laughs> We've come a long way from this, to this, to this. A long way. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was a huge, it was a part of our childhood. It was a part of several generations' childhood now, which is just crazy and shows how it, powerful a powerful franchise it was. It's been a fun month. I'd like to thank uh, Chucks and Rhesus for watching. You've been an audience for me when I wasn't sure... Really, if I was going to get one at all, I mean, I'd be surprised. It seems like all the work I did on these videos, I, you know, still get like 20, 30 views on them. But, you know, videos, the video game reviews I record, which doesn't take too much, you know, some of those get 200 views. So, I like to thank all the random YouTube people that have happened upon my videos and they've liked them and they've dropped me a line about their, uh, kick-ass shiny Pokemon they got or the or the fact they really like the second generation or trying to help me out with my uh, with my mediocre camera skills you know it's I appreciate it it's nice uh, it definitely makes me feel good about doing this sort of thing it helps offset some of the negative comments from people that are calling me a loser or just taking time out of their day to be a jackass to someone they don't know I uh, appreciate the positive comments and I hope that you will watch the videos that I make that aren't uh, Pokemon related but if you don't eh, it's not a big deal I'm glad you watched it so that's it for Pokemon month ta-da uh, so go out and catch some Pokemon